Sky AI, created by Rudy88, is an X-Edit script that allows you to distribute mod-specific items to merchant level lists based not only on your specific load order, but also and completely by your preference. The hopes of the mod author is that in time, he will be able to add things such as enemy level lists as well. At this time, the script eliminates the need to console command modded weapons into your inventory or to have your favorite and overpowered items all hidden in Riverwood for you to pick up when the game starts. Items are compared, ranked, and filtered based on vanilla items. The items handled by the script are weapons, armor, ammo, spell tones, and everything to do with alchemy. Dummy records are ignored and so are unplayable items. All of this, and no extra scripts running in-game due to the process being performed outside of the game via X-Edit. All of the modded items you love that haven't had level lists generated for them will now blend into the game in a way that feels lore-friendly and intended without the need for multiple patches while reducing the work that mod authors themselves need to do for the items that they create. Thank you Rudy for this awesome mod, and thank you Mator for the framework. XEdit is used to run the script that we will be downloading. If you aren't sure how to install XEdit, a video is provided. Created for 32-bit Skyrim, but works for SE. This adds additional library functions to XEdit. To install MXPF, navigate to nexusmods.com slash skyrim slash mods slash 68617. Open files. Select download manually beneath the most recent main files option. Open the archive that is downloaded. In the second window, navigate to where you have installed xEdit for SE. Copy the Edit Scripts folder from MXPF. Paste and merge the folder with xEdit's Edit Scripts folder. Nothing will be overwritten unless you have previously installed Mator's framework, in which case you can simply ignore the warnings. MXPF is installed. Certain elements of this mod have been included in the Merchant Override records. Install USSEP as normal. Links to this mod and all other requirements are provided. Navigate to nexusmods.com slash Skyrim Special Edition slash mods slash 11252. Open files. Download the most recent Sky AI script beneath main files using the download manually option. Open the archive once it is downloaded. In the second window, open the location that SSE Edit is installed to. Drag the Edit Scripts folder from the script archive and merge it with SSE Edit Edit Scripts folder. Back on the main page, download the most recent Sky AI base package within main files using the Download with Manager option. This file contains an ESP that can be installed with your mod manager as you would any other mod. However, you want to give the plugin a higher priority than mods that add items, weapons, armor, so on, so that Sky AI can distribute their items to vendors. You can simply place the plugin at the very bottom of your load order, highest priority, to be safe. The loading mods after it that have nothing to do with the affected level lists won't cause any issues. If you have been modding for a while, think of this as the final end-all patch for merchant lists. Mods like Asus are interchangeable with Sky AI and can be loaded after Sky AI as they will generate their own patch and incorporate Sky AI into them. Just keep in mind that if you change something within Sky AI, you will also have to repatch mods like Asus that load after it to assure that you include any changes made to this mod at that time. New modders, I promise it's not that hard. It may seem a little confusing now, but as you continue to mod, you will understand all of this. At this point, you have assured that you meet the pre-installation requirements, that you have installed Sky AI properly, and that you actually have some mods installed that add new items to the game to be distributed. Now, to distribute them. Launch SSE Edit as normal. At the Master Plugin Selection window, leave all mods activated, or activate them all if they are not, and select OK. Once you receive the message, Background Loader Finished, look to the left pane. Right-click any plugin. Select Apply Script, in the Apply Script window, expand the drop-down. Search for and select Sky AI Script. Select OK. The Sky AI Patcher interface will open. 
Select which records you want to include in the patch by activating and deactivating the checkboxes. Once you have made your choices, select New Patch. Selecting New Patch will both generate a new patch and erase the previous Sky AI patch if one was created. Selecting Amend will add records to your existing patch if one already exists. At the multiple file selection window that has opened, select which mods to include in Sky AI. It is fine to include mods that don't add items to Sky AI. If a mod does not provide a new item to the game and you include it, there is no harm, no foul. Doing so won't affect anything whatsoever. However, what you do not want to activate here are mods like Immersive Armors, Jace's Swords, Cloaks of Skyrim, and other mods that already have their items distributed throughout the game. This also means that you do not want to include the official game content. To reiterate, mods that add a large number of items to the game that already have their own level lists in place should not be included in Sky AI. This is because, one, these mods don't need Sky AI due to them already being distributed throughout the game, and two, there is a finite number of items that can be added per level list. The number is 255. This means that adding mods like Immersive Armors and Cloaks of Skyrim to Sky AI won't harm your game, but they will negate its purpose. This script adds items to level lists from top to bottom, just how plugins are loaded into the game. Once the 256 record is added, the Sky AI script will clear all previous entries, essentially wiping clean what it has already included and continue adding whatever is left. This means that many mods may be ignored and not distributed. Armor, Weapon, and Spell Tomes all have three level lists, allowing for a total of 765 of each to be distributed, but that is neither here nor there. When using multiple mods like the ones mentioned, it is very likely that you will surpass these limits. Again, deactivate mods that have their own level lists in place. To help you in your decisions, in the pinned comment beneath the video, I will list mods that should be added and should not be added as they are brought to my attention and as time allows. And onward we go. After you have made your choices, select OK. At the new module file window, give the patch a name. The author suggests Sky AI underscore patch, but it's up to you. Select OK and the patch will generate. Once complete, a window will open informing you of how many records were added. The messages window in the right pane may read zero records regardless of what the pop-up window said, but just ignore it. The author states that this will happen. Select the X at the top right of X edit. In the Save Changes Files window, assure that the new plugin is checkmarked or your work will be erased. Select OK. Open your Mod Manager. Assure that the new plugin is activated. Load it lower in physical position, higher in priority, than the Sky AI Base ESP. Mod Organizer users, check the Overwrite folder. If the new plugin is inside, right click Overwrite, create new mod, title it, and then activate it first in the left pane and then in the right. The process is now complete. Sky AI is now installed. This has been a Gamer Poets tutorial, Sky AI SE, Skyrim Add Items. For those who felt that this video was too fast, a text version of the tutorial is linked in the video description. A few more things to note for those of you who care and who understand what I am talking about. <laughs> Sky AI does work on mods that use other BIP slots, so things like Temtra Thief Armor. However, most of the accessories, anything that doesn't have a normal armor keyword allocating spot, gets treated as clothing and will be leveled lower, level 2 or 6 if enchanted. The script itself sorts mods into a specific set of levels, level 1, 8, 12, 18, 22, 32, 40, and 45. The sorting is based off of their raw data, such as damage, armor rating, weapon speed, so on. Spell tomes are all level 1, being that you have to meet the requirements to use them anyways. Alchemy is also unleveled. However, even as the character gets higher in level, you will not miss out on anything. Even a character at level 40 will still see level 1 items. Higher level stuff will simply be rarer even at high levels, because there will be more items to choose from. The author stated that this had to be done because the alternative would be to restrict level lists to the character's current level, which means you would miss out on all of the previous stuff on previous levels. So this is the solution, and it works out quite well. And that is that folks. Thank you to Rudy for reaching out to me. Again, thank you for Mattor for all of the work that he has done. Thank you to all of you folks for watching, and as always, I am Michael of Gamer Poets. I hope to see you next time.